Even the knowledge of her aboriginal history, her native history, was stolen from her as she was being born into the world and given away. Native culture was suppressed officially by both the governments of Canada and the United States in an attempt to eradicate the difference to, of, of the Aboriginal people, the Native people, the Indian people of North America. Here in Toronto, we have a university called Ryerson University. Lord Ryerson has a famous statement, which is, kill the Indian, but leave the man alive. So both the state government of the 1800s and 1700s and even into well into the 1900s and the churches, all of the church institutions, the Catholic Church, the United Church, the Baptist Church, the Presbyterian churches, they needed for their own goals and aspirations to take the culture away from the native people of North America, to try to turn them into what we might call red white men, where, and of course, it was thought that through marrying in and uh, uh, eventually the native genetic uh, differences or uniquenesses would disappear. They'd blend in 